Hello and welcome to chapter one of the unofficial guide to NDI, where we're going to simply cover what is NDI. Well, NDI stands for Network Device Interface, and it's an IP video production protocol originally developed by NewTek, who is now owned by the VizRT group. NDI is an amazing way to send video over a local area network, and we're going to learn all about it in this course. So let's cut to my presentation here. I want to show where we are in this presentation. So this presentation follows the book and we're in chapter one. So we are looking at what is NDI. And you can think about NDI as an easy way to connect video in between computers over a local area network. As NDI has gotten more and more powerful, NDI connectivities were originally adopted by live video production softwares like Wirecast, vMix, Livestream Studio, OBS, XSplit. But today, it's available in a wide variety of video applications. And we're seeing it used in the broadcast industry and in education for distance learning, and even larger in the video communication space. There's so many software and hardware integrations for NDI, it's easy to use it for any project on any computer whether it's a PC, Mac, or even Linux. So here we are starting with what is NDI, but we'll go over a brief history of NDI, what NDI has done to the industry, what is IP video and how is it transforming the way we use video. We'll look at all the most popular NDI software. Each one of these is going to be an individual video inside of this free online course. So we talked about what NDI stands for. And it was originally created because NewTek and Andrew Cross, who is the chief architect of NDI, we were seeking a new way to send video in between different scenarios. And we wanted to get away from traditional HDMI and SDI video cabling. If you're in the video production industry, you know that HDMI and SDI cablings have obvious limitations whether it be cabling distance or resolution or just cost and you know, lack of flexibility. As soon as we start sending video over a local area network, a plethora of new options emerge. And we'll be talking about Wi-Fi connectivity, wireless connectivity, ethernet connectivity, even the ability to connect hundreds of computers on a network to receive and send video. NDI really changes the game because NDI now is enabled on software and a large variety of hardware solutions as well. NDI video sources open up a whole new world of connectivity. And it's not only is it integrated into some of the most popular streaming and video communication software solutions, we'll look at almost all of the hardware and software solutions available today, which is what makes NDI so popular. Now, over the years, NDI has kind of changed the game in a lot of different scenarios. This uh, image here is showing a smartphone leveraging a local area network, it, which is a network of computers which has a wireless access point. So from turning a smartphone into a HD video input to a broadcast production switcher, to having PTZ NDI cameras that are discoverable and controllable over a local area network to software and hardware seamlessly integrating together using this new technology called NDI. Now, NDI originally was released in 2015. Here we are many years later, and we're you know, just still seeing brand new workflows and technologies happening because IP is so powerful. So what is a network? Well, we're going to talk really in depth about this in our next upcoming chapter, but a local area network is essentially computers connected together over Ethernet cabling using networking equipment. Networking equipment is very standard today. It's how modern communications have evolved, and you likely have a network. You likely have an infrastructure that can be used now for video routing, for sending and receiving video, and it will make video applications and projects much more cost effective and flexible, which is where 
video producers get very excited when we see what is possible and what used to cost tens and hundreds of thousands of dollars for video matrix switchers and extenders and all of these cables, NDI has created a simple, easy way and a free way in many cases to connect video over your network. So it's, it's very exciting for video producers. Now, how does it work? It requires some networking infrastructure. And as I mentioned, you probably already have this, whether it be your home network, your office network, or maybe you just want to pick up an, a standard networking router with a built-in Wi-Fi, maybe a network switch. These, these products now you can get on Amazon and other places for very affordable. A router you can get for $50. Different networking switches are even less expensive in some cases. And together you can create these amazing video production systems where you have multiple computers working together. We're gonna do lots of great use cases and scenarios so you can really understand the possibilities of this. But essentially, very affordably, you can use ethernet cabling and standard off-the-shelf networking equipment to replace super expensive video routing gear that literally still to this day costs many, many thousands of dollars and NDI is really revolutionizing the video routing side. Now, one thing that you should know as you're taking this course, as you're learning about NDI, is there's something called NDI tools, which are available at ndi.tv. When we talk about what is NDI, at the core of it, it's an open standard. There's an SDK, a software development kit that software engineers and hardware engineers use to bring NDI into their software and hardware systems. What does that mean? Well, that means software like Microsoft Teams, software like Skype, uh, hardware like PTZ Optics cameras or Magewell converters, they can all work together. And there's a long list of software and hardware manufacturers that support NDI the NDI tools are a free set of tools you can download for your Mac or PC to immediately get set up whether you want to capture a screen and send it over your local area network or display video on a monitor or a projector. Again, all connected over a local area network. So these NDI tools will be going into in chapter four. You'll get a really good idea of how they work. In general, they're very simple and easy to use, but we're gonna pop the hood and show you the full power of these applications as we go forward in this presentation. There are some minimum requirements. These are outlined in the book. You should know a little bit about them as you're using NDI. I'm not gonna go down this list, but I'm gonna high level explain to you that some computers might not be fast enough to run NDI, might not be fast to use it in 4K. There's bandwidth and hardware processing limitations to some computers. So the good news is most computers these days are fast enough to use NDI. And if you've got a computer in the past two or three years, it has an i5 or faster processor, you can use NDI on that computer. Meaning you can set up a computer like I'm using now, a very affordable little Intel Nook, to send and receive video. Um, that is the requirement for most of the NDI applications. There's also requirements for the networking gear. And again, I don't want to scare you. The requirements are the very low bar of just a gigabit networking infrastructure, which is required. And we're going to go over all of this in more detail, but I don't want you to think that there aren't any requirements. The key takeaways here are that NDI is an IP video standard that leverages standard computers standard networking equipment that replaces a lot of expensive video gear that exists today. There are some minimum requirements for the computers that are using NDI, and there's some minimum requirements for the networking gear that is necessary to connect these computers together. With a little networking knowledge, you can use NDI. You may not need any networking knowledge at all, yet we're gonna give you that knowledge so you have a basis in this course. And those are the takeaways to get started. Our next video is going to be helping you understand NDI in a little bit more detail. We're gonna be going over what a network is and slowly going through this process. So let's get started. And that's your introduction to NDI as part of this course.